Kurubashi Arena, a place of great mystery. Between the tropical trees, you have a clear view of a big stone building. It's a place that always catches your attention, from the very first moment you spot it. Most of the time, it is a silent remnant of the past, an old relic of the once mighty Gurubashi Empire, of which your group was their former capital city. When you set foot into the ruins, you can feel the air vibrate, you can smell the sand. This is a place with a massive history, as silent as it is right now, sometimes, even to this day, a big and bloody battle happens. The Bloodsail pirates, in desperate need of entertainment, fight for a treasure, till the last man standing, and when the fight is over, the silence returns to the arena as if nothing ever happened. The Gurubashi Arena has always been one of my favorite features of Vanilla World of Warcraft. The first time I ever entered the arena, I had no idea what was going on. On my screen popped a message saying enemy territory, but since there was no one else around, I didn't yet understand it was actually a free-for-all area. Because Stranglethorn Vale was such a big area filled with quests, I spent multiple weeks questing in this area, and suddenly, I saw this text popping on my screen. Arr, my hearties. I'd be having some extra treasure that I'd be giving away at the Gurubashi Arena. All you need to do to collect it is open the chest I leave on the arena floor. Since I didn't have the slightest idea about who popped that message on my screen, I asked around in general chat, and people pointed me towards the arena. I found out that it was a goblin pirate captain called Char John Mitril who was yelling, and that he moved to the middle of the arena to drop a chest of treasure. The place was much more populated than it had been last time I visited it. Everyone started fighting, and me being a total noob back then, I died fast, and when I returned, the chest was already gone. From that moment on, I came back every time I saw the yelling on my screen, which I figured out later was every three hours. I strongly believed the chest would reward me with at least an epic quality item. I failed multiple times, but finally, on a sunny afternoon, I managed to get the chest. I didn't get an epic, as you may have assumed, but I was super happy I got it and the rewards weren't too bad either. Every chest contains at least the Arena Master Trinket, which gives 5 stamina. Even though that's pretty mediocre, there are not many trinkets around, especially on that level, and so just being able to equip a trinket felt like a huge boost. The chest often contains a blue bracer as well, which can be very useful at that level. Another interesting feature was that the trinket actually started the quest, which asked you to collect 12 Arena Master Trinkets. Even though I tried, I never got more than a couple of them, so I never got my hands on the reward, which was the Arena Grand Master Trinket. A trinket useful for tanks, but since it had no level requirement, it was also extremely good for twinking purposes. Yeah, the Gurubashi Arena, great memories. I remember when the Burning Crusade was announced, I told my friend that I hoped there would be more arenas added to the game. And guess what happened? This has been Dunedain, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, and also join the newly created Discord channel. The link can be found in the description. Have a nice day.